In a way, I feel lucky to be alive because there were plans of throwing an atomic bomb at Germany at some point. And I was living in an industrial city and we were targeted. The technology of uh, nuclear warfare has increased to a degree way beyond of Hiroshima and Nagasaki experience. And so I'll make it uh, my special um, effort to pay more attention to this dialogue. And it is very sad to hear from survivors how many family members they have lost, how it affected their life, how in spite of the injury they, they have sustained, they still seem to be all right, but I know now from having listened to them, they are not. And I wish this nightmare, nightmare will be over and our children will have a safe future.
Out of touch with uh, other people's realities, I think, especially as as an American, it's 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 you don't think about nuclear bombs every day. Uh, you might commemorate what happened on 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 uh, the uh, on August 6th and August 9th, you know, 1945, but it's not as some it's not something that that is uh, uh, deeply studied in in a in a careful manner. If it is, you know brought up, it's in passing. But I believe that peace can't be made with the um, threaten of nuclear weapons. And those people who still, you know, make nuclear weapons and hydrogen bombs are not sanity. I mean, I believe they, they are not doing the right thing. I was in Kyoto and I got to hear an 80-year-old uh, Hibakusha uh, um, story uh, in, her, in her home. Uh, she was 20 years old at the time of, of the bombing and she was actually pregnant, five months pregnant. Uh, I remember just listening to her, um, you know, speak about her experience and being torn inside myself where there was a part of me that, that really wanted to get up and walk out because it was too painful to just, you know, to listen to. Um, granted that this could be the, this is, not could, this is the last generation of, of, of Japanese hibakusha. Unfortunately, I feel like for humans, that's what, the, what it takes to actually meet somebody who lived the experience. We need to think about um, what's, what is peace, I mean, what the peace is. And it has to be studied in the family, and it also has to it, it also has to be done in in schools and other like in society. Because if we if we don't like ourselves, we can't really love others. When you forget, you repeat, that's all. When human forgets something, we re repeat. So unless we, if we keep the memory, then we will not repeat it. It's so important. And they are getting old. The, all the hibakusha is like 70s and 80s, and they are dying every year, every day. So it's important our younger generation of Japan and Korea, China, there are many hibakusha around the world, not just in Japan. We should... Uh, Keep the memory, pass the memory, pass the story to the next generation. That's our, our responsibility to the rest of the world. It's addiction. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, because of your economy based on you know, wars, your economy lives on wars, feed by war. Unless you have war, your economy doesn't do good, yeah? Isn't that true? 
because it's uh, everything is so engaged in war, war business, weapons, and uh, also reconstruction. You destroy another country and you reconstruct using tax money, and tax money is uh, uh, the tax money is uh, being financed by Japanese money because you don't have enough tax money. That you issue the government bond, and we are the main buyers in the world. Japan has been buying U.S. bond, like 40% of your, your government bond, treasury bond, is bought by Japanese. It's crazy. So we are like friends. We are uh, feeding the world economy together, Japan and the U.S. So uh, us, Japanese citizens and U.S. citizens, should work together to change this economy to more peaceful economy. If we change the direction of the business, we can change the reality way or simple way. We can uh, invest in uh, solar economy, or like solar energy or wind, wind power, uh, whatever renewable, sustainable, good business. So if, when we choose to invest in those businesses, the reality will change, reality will follow. Saying against war, saying no war doesn't work. It's good to say no war, but it doesn't work. It doesn't change the reality. You have to spend money a different way. Every one dollar you spend, spend for peace. That way the reality will change. So that's something I've been trying to work here and also in the United States.